U.S. life insurance companies have reported an overwhelming and unexplainable increase in all-cause deaths among 18 to 49-year-olds. Along with that, there's also been an increase in certain medical diagnoses, such as miscarriages and Bell's palsy. Here to give us her take on the new data and what she believes could be causing the rise in numbers is emergency medicine and disaster specialist, Dr. Kelly Victory. Dr. Victory, good morning. Great to talk to you as always. Good morning, Jason. Thanks for having me. Okay, we want to make sure that anytime we talk, we want to make sure the information that we have is accurate. So let's start this interview by telling us, I've, I've seen your correspondence here, what is the source of the information that you're about to present? Well, this information became uh, available to me or on my radar last week following a hearing with Senator Ron Johnson, uh, who was looking at sort of what he calls a second opinion on the entire response to the COVID pandemic. The medical data was released by three career military physicians who got the information from the military database that collects what we call ICD codes, which are the diagnosis codes. And these physicians had a feeling, they believed based on their own observation that they were seeing a significant uptick in certain conditions. So they actually went back and called the database from the military on certain conditions over a five year period from 2016 through 2020, uh, notably con you continue, or, uh, containing one year, 2020, of the full-blown pandemic. So they looked at 2016, 17, 18, 19, and 20 at the prevalence of certain conditions, including things like heart attack, blood clots to the lung, miscarriages, those sorts of things, and they compared it to the incidence of those same things in the calendar year 2021 and saw an alarming increase in certain things. For example, they saw a 270% increase in myocardial infarction in 2021, a 300% increase in incidence of Bell's palsy and of certain neurologic complaints, uh, a 470% increase in pulmonary embolisms, blood clots to the lungs and many, many other huge increases that they found alarming. Now, no one is saying with any certainty, Jason, what is causing this, but we certainly would be remiss as scientists if we didn't look at that and say, there is something going on. What happened in 2021 that was so different from the previous five-year average that would cause this massive increase in certain medical conditions. So the, 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 inf the source of the information is several U.S. life insurance companies that have been reporting this, correct? And these three career physicians that you referred to. Well, there's, yes, they are separate groups of data. Jason, the previous study from the U.S. life insurance companies, many of them were reporting a 40% increase in deaths from all causes in the 18 to 49 year old group. They know that because these are life insurance companies that provide group life insurance policies to employers. So these are working age individuals with a 40% increase in all cause deaths. That was a different report from this bombshell that came out last week from, as I said, three career military physicians who are calling a military database uh, so they are two groups of data that show, uh, again, an alarm that something is going on. And the question is what? What has changed in calendar year 2021 that is causing, number one, an increase in all cause deaths, as reported by the life insurance companies, and an increase in certain medical conditions, such as heart attacks, blood clots to the lungs, um, uh, congenital malformations of children born that year, female infertility, uh, and those sorts of things. Uh, did these three career military physicians offer any type of speculation? 
They did not, and they but they d did not do this anonymously. Uh, they signed an affidavit on this. Um, I have not seen the raw data. I'm not a military physician. I don't have access to that database, but I don't have any reason to believe at this juncture uh, that the data is in question. These are again based on ICD codes, and it should I should make it clear because it's very easy to make statistics of these sorts um, deceptive. Uh, so when I say that there's a 300% increase, for example, in cancers is what they found. This wasn't an increase from one case to four cases. In the case of cancer, for example, it was an increase from an average, a five-year average of 38,000 cases per year to almost 120,000 cases in calendar year 2021. And actually, it wasn't even a full year. It was more like 11 months worth of data. Uh, and it was almost up to 120,000 cases of cancer. So the question is, what would cause that? Obviously, there's some conjecture uh, amongst it, people that it could be the COVID vaccines. That has yet to be proven. But again, we would be remiss if we said that we couldn't consider that. Maybe it's climate change. I don't know. But I sure as heck do know that we better be paying attention to it. Because real science, Jason, real science requires us to be intellectually curious. It requires us to ask the uncomfortable question and to look at data, even if that data makes us question previously held convictions. And so if we aren't able to look at this data, if we are silenced and shut down, and I can tell you, I posted a tweet about it yesterday after the data became clear to me that there was something going on. I simply posted as, wow, what's going on here? And the amount of vitriol that that single tweet generated was really quite stunning. The number of people who tweeted back that I should lose my medical license, that I should be kicked off Twitter, that I should be reported to the authorities is really alarming. The idea that people are so fearful of looking at actual data and asking the question, what is going on, is really a, a dangerous place for us. Um, do, you ex uh, do you expect this uh, to information to be presented to the C CDC? I certainly hope so. The CDC and the FDA should be all over this. That's their job. But instead, the idea that they are trying to silence people, the three military physicians who made it clear, who released it have been termed whistleblowers. In the past, we just would have called them good doctors looking at patterns. That's what doctors do. That's what scientists are supposed to do. Look at patterns, look at what seems unusual, question those things, bring them to the surface and do the deep dive analysis. We have many, many uh, questions in, in medicine that don't have answers. We sure as heck shouldn't have answers that can't be questioned. And if the problem turns out to be these vaccines, and they certainly should be looking at it, that it is certainly one thing of perhaps many that changed in 2021 that could be responsible for some portion, if not all of these increases in various medical conditions. And it deserves to be fully exposed and to be examined very, very carefully. Okay, Dr. Kelly Victory, appreciate it. Well, it's gonna be interesting to see where this goes. Appreciate it. Thanks, thanks a, very much for having me, Jason. Have a great weekend.